Elon Musk announces solar power car. Battery costs have skyrocketed, but people are still flocking to buy electric vehicles despite the rising expenses. Only 24% of the world's energy is derived from renewable sources. The vast majority is derived from fossil fuels such as oil, coal and gas. Tesla, on the other hand, is looking to the sky as the green vehicle revolution begins for a portable and renewable charging option. Let's see what it's all about. EV solar kits aim to use solar panels to make electric vehicles run on renewable energy rather than electricity generated by fossil fuel power stations. This startup company is working on a solar retrofit for Tesla vehicles that it claims will cost $5,000 and add up to 60 miles of range per day. As co-founder Steel Wasig told Futurism, there's so many pain points that EV owners have, whether it's range anxiety or lifestyle aversion. There's just so many variables when it comes to EVs. It's kind of the wild west right now. I wanted to see if I could take a swing at solving these problems with an aftermarket product. In addition to installing the kits on Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles roofs, Wasig, whose father and grandfather were also Cadillac design engineers, says his firm is working on extending trunk panels that will be compatible with any electric vehicle. Tesla's warranty will not be violated by the changes he claimed. This may sound too good to be true, but the company has yet to install one of its kits in a single customer's vehicle. Although he declined to provide images or videos of it in action, Wasik claims that the company has already rolled out the technology to beta test drivers in the Austin, Texas area. However, he says that the final design of the panels has not yet been finalized. Also up for debate is the venture's monetary situation, which is unclear. Pre-seed status, according to Wasik, who added that a crowdfunding effort would be launched soon, Many electric vehicle enthusiasts have heard about the initiative and it has gathered an email list of several thousand potential consumers, according to him. It's also true that onboard solar panels on electric cars could be an intriguing puzzle piece in the still fraught charging infrastructure for the vehicles. In theory, it's a great idea to have a car that generates its own electricity all day, and even if the kits fall far short of Wasik's predicted 60 miles of additional range, the extra charge might still be a sustainable boost for green transportation. Most people buy an EV because they want to be green, Wasik said. At the same time, electricity is coming from plant that burns fossil fuels. To find a way to make EVs what we want them to be, we're excited about that. Even Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has indicated interest in solar panels for vehicles on occasion, though his excitement has fluctuated wildly depending on the situation. It's probably going to be an option for Tesla's Model 3 with a solar roof, he said in 2016, implying that the update wouldn't be super expensive and even hinting at the possibility of a retractable solar system. Elon Musk has also announced that the company's expected Cybertruck will be available with a solar power option, though that update has yet to be commercialized. A design for retractable solar panels on a car was shown in a Tesla patent application that appeared earlier this year. Elon Musk, on the other hand, may have grown dissatisfied with the concept, telling controversial podcast presenter Joe Rogan last year that the Cybertruck solar panels wouldn't generate enough electricity for daily use unless it wasn't driven frequently. Elon Musk told Rogan in that interview that a solar-powered van would actually make more sense due to the design. Make sure to subscribe. I want to know who the true Elon Musk fans are. At the time, Elon Musk told Rogan on the podcast, you possibly put the cover of the truck bed, put some solar cells in there, so you could just leave it out in the sun. If you could do 10 miles a day, you'd be lucky. Overall, Elon Musk's unclear stance on the technology enhances the possibility that EV solar kits is preparing to be acquired by the manufacturer. Tesla and Elon Musk both declined to comment on this. Wasik, on the other hand, dismissed the prospect, saying merely that he'd want to meet Elon if that happened. Right now, we're worried about getting the best product to consumers, he said. As a whole, he says he has faith in the EV community, which he believes will only respond to a product that delivers on a technical level. On that note, Wasik said we did our best to be the educational solar company that really walked people through exactly how this works. It might not have been as sexy a pitch, but that's who we wanted to be. Click the video on screen to see more Elon Musk news.